I love you with my heart, with my soul, with every fiber of my entire being. How are you feeling right now, beautiful soul? So I wanted to share a little message with you. It's Monday morning. I'm off to the gym. I'm off to the gym every morning. It doesn't matter whether it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm always activating myself and empowering myself by taking control of my life. So I wanted to, to share this message about moving from a disempowered programmed state of consciousness to an empowered state of consciousness. And you could even call it an empowered programmed state of consciousness because really what you're doing is is programming or reprogramming yourself to live in a state of magic, a state of empowerment, a state where you apply yourself day in, day out in a way that gets results. Most people are judging their own behavior. Most people are blaming other people or themselves. Most people don't want to move and lean into the experiences that the universe is laying down in their path. And when you don't lean into life, then life starts to smack you about a little bit, starts to beat you up a little bit. You know, it's like going on a fairground ride or, or a massive roller coaster. If you go on a, a really big roller coaster and you're sitting there like waiting to kind of go over the edge and down the, the kind of first initial drop, you know, where your belly goes up into your, into, into your brain and all that sort of stuff. You know, if you stand there and you're worried and you're in fear, it's not very nice. But if you put your arms up in the air and you kind of roar into it and you like attack it and, 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 and kind of scream as you go down in a, and like in a way that you're loving it, it becomes enjoyable. Like you attack it, you lean into it. Life is the same. I, I always remember playing rugby as a kid and you know, you, you'd be going in for a tackle. If you had any doubt in your mind or there was a little bit of fear about going in for that tackle and you didn't apply yourself 100%, You'd end up getting knocked about a little bit by the other person's knees or shins. But if you went into that tackle and you committed to it full force, you'd tackle the other guy down and it wouldn't hurt a tiny little bit. Life is the same. You must attack life. You must lean into life. You must commit to life. And when the universe is laying things down for you, some of them are comfortable, some of them are enjoyable. You do have some beautiful experiences, but a lot of the time when you're moving through those growth periods, you've got to step into the unknown and, and the unknown is, is quite uncomfortable for most people. And so people go into the unknown very timidly or they go into the unknown with fear or sometimes they stay away from the unknown. They, they give it a wide berth and they, they stay back in the comfort zone, the known which, which, which they know. It's like the boats, okay, in the harbor. Ima imagine you're, 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 you're in a boat at, at the harbor and the, har and, and the boat is, a, is tied to the, to the harbor with a bit of rope. If you keep rowing, you're not going to go anywhere. You're going to stay in the harbour because you're attached to it. What you have to do is you have to cut that rope. You have to cut that connection to the safe harbour of the known. And you've got to venture out into the seas, into the oceans, because that's where you're going to grow and you're going to furnish yourself with new skills and new abilities. I always try and adopt this kind of savage mindset and I truly feel that everyone should become a little bit savage, okay? Now, most people like to be comfortable. They like to have everything around them and, and to have a nice, easy life. People don't like to, to have that savage mentality. For me, 
being savage is of the utmost important because I don't want to I don't want to rest on my laurels. I don't want to stay comfortable. I don't want life to kind of mold me and shape me. I want to become savage and blaze new trails and mold and shape life itself. And to do that always requires a bit more effort because you've got to you've got to break through into areas and fields of consciousness that have not been broken through into before. And that requires dedication, it requires discipline, it requires focus, it requires effort, it requires a strength of mentality, a strength of heart. And it requires you to combine all of these faculties together and combine it into one powerful choice. And that powerful choice is your commitment. It's your commitment to take action right now on what the universe has in front of you. Not to be scared of it, but to lean into it. And if you can bring yourself into that elevated state of consciousness and make that choice, that choice is gonna catalyze a vortex of energy. And that vortex of energy is gonna, is gonna support you, it's gonna back you up, and it's gonna ignite something very powerful within you. And that choice that you made to commit to whatever is in front of you will go much smoother. It will be much easier. Not because it's easy, but because of your mindset and your mentality and how you've decided to approach it. Just like going in to commit on the rugby field to tackle that big, huge guy that's running towards you, knees and shins, running at full pelt. You gotta get down low and you gotta drive him with your shoulder. And you gotta bring him to the ground. That requires a choice, a choice that you're gonna commit that to that tackle with everything that you've got and you're gonna put your whole body in front of his legs. And if you do that, you're not gonna get hurt. But if you go in half assed you might end up with a, a broken collarbone. You might get trampled on with those studded boots and end up with cuts on your face or your body because you've gone in weak. You gotta go in hard, you gotta go in like a savage. You've gotta commit and you've gotta be fearless. And when you decide to be fearless and to, to dive into the unknown territories 24-7, 365, you are gonna grow in ways that you never knew were possible. Most of the human race, they never truly live. They never truly thrive. They just get by, day to day, paycheck to paycheck. And that's all they expect of themselves. They're happy that way. Or they think they're happy anyway. They just don't know what's beyond their, their, their reality, their existence, because they've never had the courage to try something new to be brave you know we all know that fortune favors the brave like Christopher Columbus he sailed out into the oceans he took that perpendicular approach he didn't go a mile out from the shore and then go in a circle and stay close to the shore because he knew that he would be safe he could always go back if he wanted to like Napoleon Bonaparte he burnt his boats he sailed to the islands and he burnt his boats. So his men had no choice but to fight and win. Otherwise, there was no retreating because they had no boats to get off the island. They wouldn't have been able to swim because the tides were too rough. So they had to win the battle. When you commit with this kind of attitude, savage, fearless, you will win every single time. It doesn't mean that you might not get knocked down. Winning doesn't mean that you're always gonna stand on your two feet. Part of winning is getting knocked down because when you get knocked down and you lose a small battle on the road to success, which could be in a relationship or a business deal or some kind of health issue, you might have to try 25 business ventures before you hit the nail on the head and, and something becomes successful. The 24 before it were not failures. You just got knocked down. You were learning. You were getting more skills. 
you were getting upgraded so that when you got to, to business number 25, you were fully equipped to make it work. This is life, baby. You have to decide, do you want to get beaten up by life or do you want to take the ball by the horns and ride that ball into life and crush and overcome? Start doing things every day that take you out of your comfort zone. The gym's an easy one, okay? Do things that make you uncomfortable. Speak your truth when there's a part of you saying, oh, I really can't do this. I really can't tell this human being how I feel. Open your hearts, open your mouth, speak your truth. When you start to speak your truth, when you open your heart and you, you do all of these uncomfortable things, you just start to grow. If you're in a relationship and you're not happy, leave that relationship. Have the courage to go it alone. I guarantee the universe will support you. If you're in a business relationship and your business partner isn't pulling their weight, move on. Or have a chat with them and, 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 and buy them out of the business or, or work out a way of, 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 of taking them out of the business peacefully and calmly. You must have the courage to go into those unknown territories, beautiful soul. Wherever you are on this magical planet, go out and love your sisters and your brothers. Love them fiercely and ferociously. Hug them tightly. You know the golden rule of hugging. Hug them tightly and never be the first to let go. Go out and have fun smile, dance, go a little bit crazy, because we've all got a crazy side. So let that crazy streak out. You don't have to conform, conforming is boring. You came here to express all of your divinity and all of your magic. So go out into the world and be that powerful light. You're amazing, you're divine, you're supersonic. You're a sovereign soldier, a galactic titan, an earth angel. You're a lion, you're a lioness, a god, a goddess. Go and express your divinity in this human body. And I'll see you again real soon, beautiful soul. Remember to check out our website, starmagichealing.com and join our new telegram group, Spiritual Gangster One. And gangster is G-A-N-G-S-T-A, -A, numerical number one. I'll see you again real soon, beautiful soul. <laughs> one love, one heart, one human family. Peace out, beautiful soul. <laughs> Infinity is the ultimate ascension toolkit. Your mind, body, and soul will be brought into perfect alignment. Completely life-changing. I wake up every single day excited to live my life. I'm a better mother. I'm a better partner. I'm a better friend. I'm a better facilitator. I've never experienced anything like this in my entire life. It has raised my consciousness faster than anything I have ever, ever done. Things in my experience started to change. I am manifesting much faster. Seeing people with eyes of love rather than anger, it changed my life and it continues to change my life. Again and again, they just tap you into a place that you don't even know exists. Freaking amazing meditations journeys, healing journeys. Like the massive energy these meditations feed me. There's hundreds of meditations in that library, one on almost every subject. I lost three inches off my waist without even trying. I have never experienced the kind of profound transformation in such a short time as I have with the star magic frequencies and meditations. The amount of unconditional love that came through. Also, I manifested $6,000. What I did in one year was phenomenal. I'm centered now, I'm happier. If you want to be a high vibrational human, happy, full of joy, totally healthy, full of vibrancy and vitality, then infinity is a must. You get seven days free with unlimited access to make sure it's for you. And once you go there, you just want to keep going there. The Infinity Library is second to none fantastic journey. But what it really did was open up centers of learning in me that I didn't know existed. The way that people approach me and respond to me has changed. Seven months ago, and it's only been seven months, <laughs> and the changes that I've made within myself are unbelievable 
really been able to look at myself in the mirror and truly, truly deeply love what I see. Your vibration will rise as you connect deeply. This is a one-stop shop for your healing and ascension requirements. See you on the inside, beautiful soul.